Hello YouTube and welcome to another review and this time it's of the British 45th Regiment Grenadier Company set. I'm saying set because there's two sets here um, one set of four for each so um, four men one box four men one box um, and this is from the William Britons Redcoats range and this is the French and Indian War period um, still covering that um, this regiment did serve in the French and Indian War in the Americas um, it was involved in the siege of Louisbourg um, and I think a couple of other minor skirmishes it had um, but this one did actually cover that period pretty much um, this uh, both of these sets I picked up for a reasonable price I think it was around about 30 pounds for each set um, they will go for more than that um, depending on where you look and I think one of the sets I picked up on Amazon so don't think eBay is the answer to everything it's not um, Amazon do as well have um, soldiers so you know check them out from time to time but I've never found a great quantity on Amazon but um, this set I like the look of these um, detail is tremendous um, really good nice gloss figure and um, well worth the money um, detail wise obviously they look pretty much the same as uh, the other um, regiment that I covered the same period and of course so they would I mean all that's changing really is the regimental badge and um, on this particular one um, your epaulets on your overcoat and your cuffs and on this one the black spats um, which they wear on here is quite visible I'm imagining this is the grenade pouch um, as I can't really see anywhere else that it would be because I'd imagine the backpack is for his musket balls um, so I'm just thinking the front portion is for his grenades but I could be wrong um, brown base musket um, unit and regimental badge will always be on the mitered cap which is what um, they wore for that period um, as you can see they also carry a short sword here as well as the bayonet case for the bayonet um, um, and um, basically um, if I turn him round let's just have a look do you see the way they've really crafted these ones I mean the face is really good the hair it's really good they're just really good figures and um, such a shame because these are pretty much um, I believe they're retired might be wrong and so what you're looking at is picking these up on eBay or from sellers who've just had them lying around in their shop for quite some time um, uh, what else can I sort of say about these that really hasn't been discussed already in a previous video um, nothing so much only that I would say um, that the front pouch is different from the others um, and aside from obviously the company insignia which is always different um, I think if I'm right in remembering I'm not so sure. Um, these were at some point part of the Nottinghamshire and Sherwood Foresters Regiment of Foot. Um, and this is basically a grenadier company attached to those. Um, you know, just throughout the, the age, really. Um, they have got quite a few um, battle honours. Um, their engagement they were involved in the american revolution as well obviously this would be the incorrect uniform for that period uh, this is the french and indian war uniform but they were indeed involved in the american revolution and the peninsula war which as we know that was um, wellington's engagements through um, portugal and spain um, uh, what else can i think that they may have been a um, little more to see other than barracks would have been Leicestershire um, 
and I see what have we got there I'm just looking because I haven't looked at these for a while so I'm just checking I haven't got any chips in these but they seem in remarkable health but this is what I like on these ones they spent a bit of time I mean you can see here if I just turn it that way you can see they've painted the strap on the back of the gun um, you know which is just you know that's the quality we like um, and if you remember uh, one of the previous reviews I did I think it was a Durham light infantry that was not the case um, at all <laughs> the strap was just painted brown along with the gun um, but you see you just spend an extra couple of minutes on something and it can look that much better um, brown best long gun um, and I mean even there they've gone in with the silver paint just on where the catchment is and the flint look and just really nice and I mean it would be difficult to do I mean they've got to make money out of these it's difficult to do these stripes and everything on the tops of their shoulders for the price that they're asking for these um, which I think was about 28 pounds at the time 25 to 28 pounds um, very nice and this was part of the red coats uh, range French and Indian War now I think there was about a couple of versions in that I think there was a red coats and blue coats and there was just plain blue coats and I think the blue coats were the Americans um, but I think that covered American uniforms right the way through to nearly um, early 19th century um, and the other part of the red coats range covered the same period um, so some quite nice pieces in there and I think one of them was the Coldstream Guards which I did very old video now which doesn't hold up very well but that's on there too um, but all in all um, these it's a very nice set um, very nice set indeed so quite happy I bought these and I got them for a very good price so and they look good together with the other regiment of Grenadiers which I do possess so um, Thank you for watching and um, we'll see you soon. I'm getting a few videos up at the minute. Um, I'm off work so um, before the baby comes I'll just get <laughs> as many videos done and then you probably won't hear from me for God knows how long. So uh, thanks for listening and bye. I'll catch you later.